Okay, let's talk about the pros. These things are gross polluters. They're only 67% efficient at best. This one right here is 62% efficient. That means that 38% of your money is going right up the chimney, um, polluting the earth and it's not converting to hot water, which is terrible. This unit on the other hand is 95% efficient. That means only five cents of every dollar is going up the chimney. So that's number one. There's something called standby heat loss. It's sitting there, it's got 50 gallons of hot water inside of it and the heat is slowly being lost to the environment around it. With a tankless, you don't have standby heat loss. It heats water up as you need it and that's it. In comparison, it's like a, a Honda Civic and a Maserati. They heat water, but they do it in an entirely different way, way more efficient. You actually save significant amounts of money. One of the big, big things that's recently come out is integrated recirculation pumps. So what that does is it gives you continuous water, which they've always done. You can run this forever and it'll never run out. But recently they've integrated the recirculation systems inside. And if you look on top of the gray water heater, you'll see that red pump. That's a recirculation pump. Up until about three years ago, you really weren't supposed to hook them up to a tankless. So the Navian product actually has one integrated inside of it. And the cool thing about that is that now you're saving, you know, $125 on fuel and you're also probably easily going to save $125 on water. So where they weren't really feasible in the past with the gas and the water savings, they're becoming a viable option and the prices are slowly coming down. And I would absolutely say go tankless is when you either have a really small unit or you need to move your water heater. Um, when you're moving your water heater, you're already having to run new water lines, you already have to run a gas line. All that stuff's gonna be the same whether you go tank or tankless. Move your water heater, it's a no-brainer. It's a tankless job all the time. So let's do a quick recap on the benefits of tankless. First things first, you know, right now we're saving $125 in fuel a year based on whatever the energy code says. I think it's probably slightly more than that. But it's not really that, it's the fact that fuel costs are never gonna go back down. They're only gonna get more and more and more. So year one is 125, but year 10 is probably $250 a year based on the energy costs going up and up and up with inflation. Secondly, you have your water cost. Water's definitely not getting any cheaper. We're in a massive drought, That's everyone knows that. That's a kind of a self-explanatory thing. Same thing, water in 10 years is not gonna be water what it is today. The thing is the space. A lot of times people have this in their garage and you can build a nice little shelf system in there. Sometimes they'll be in people's kitchens, laundry rooms. Get that thing out of there. Let's put a tankless outside and give you back the space in your house. You know, this is a 15 year warranty. This has a six year warranty. I'm estimating this thing to go 20 years if you maintain it. Um, you know, a six year warranty, maybe 10 if you're lucky. So as far as longevity, it's a big deal, and especially when you consider buying a water heater in 10 years. It's not going to be what it is today. You're going to probably pay double. So when you consider everything all in a bundle, it, it makes sense to go tankless. Now, if you don't have the money, that's a deal breaker. I get it. That makes sense. But if you do have the money and you're kind of on the fence, well, is it worth it? Is it not? You know, tankless. Those are the pros. There are obviously cons. Biggest one, cost. Um, at three times the price, a lot of people are just priced out of the market and they're like, I don't care how much I'm gonna save, I don't have the money, I can't do it. I get that. Um, the second and the biggest one we hear is, well, I don't wanna pay the servicing cost. That really is not an argument for me. I mean, we have tons of systems. The Halo system has a little mechanism inside of it that does not soften water, but it recalibrates the minerals so that they don't want to stick to anything. They do need electricity to run the computer. So if the computer can't run, it turns off and that's that's that. A lot of times they need so much gas at such a little time that your water, your gas line that you already have isn't capable of supplying the amount of fuel. Overall, tankless water heaters are pretty sweet especially when you combine them with a water softening system or some sort of filtration system. It's a no-brainer. They work together. They love each other. It's, it's exciting for me. There's nothing exciting about this thing. So if you can swing for it and you realize the benefits, I think it's a good buy.